times you're right. If this, if this is everybody, we got head coach Kevin Reynolds, forward Frank Holloway, guard Antonio Butler. Kevin, you just want to start with an opening statement? Yeah, we are uh, really proud of our guys. Um, guys really had a lot of good weeks of pra few weeks of practice, good days, good focus. Obviously, when you have seniors like Antonio and, and Frank playing the way they did, but our whole team played well. Uh, we were embarrassed, obviously, uh, a few uh, games ago, uh, Tuesday of the conference tournament. You lose by that amount. We're a prideful group. Uh, something we talk about all the time in our program uh, is we're going we're gonna to compete. And we had a real sour taste in our mouth in that bus on the way home. Good senior leadership and uh, just extremely proud of the guys. Uh, it was a total team effort, and uh, we got to get ready for IUP tomorrow. Any questions? Coach, what was different on offense tonight against, the, I suppose, the last game against the enemy? Uh, I, we made some shots. We didn't make the free throws at the rate that we normally do. That really hurt us up there, but the guys really shared it. We felt like we had a good scheme um, in the game, and the guys executed it well. Obviously, when you make shots and down the stretch, you know, we had Frank and Antonio make a lot of big plays. But in that first half, uh, I think Nicholson did a great job of, of uh, keeping us in the game when everyone else wasn't hitting. He was 4-4 four four in the first half, and, uh, and, and that was huge for us because especially, I think, the shot at the end of the half, the three, we called the timeout, and he was feeling it. So we just let him shoot a step up three, and he executed it perfectly. And uh, but down the stretch, we just played a little uh, – a little triangle action where we worked Antonio and Frank on the side of the floor, and it, it really worked well for us. And uh, they're good players. I mean, uh, Frank didn't get voted as an all-conference player, but he is. I mean, he's an all-conference player. Antonio obviously uh, is a player of the year candidate in, a candidate in our league. He's an all-region player. I don't think anyone rebounds at the rate that he does as a wing. And uh, we just have a good team effort. It was just a, our, our team is just together, and. Uh, this is a good team. Dan is a hell of a team. Uh, like I said, we lost three times to them, so we know how good they were. But like I told the team, we're a prideful group. We knew we had to bring our A game today, and we did. Frank, you had some time to kind of sit around and think about the PSAC tournament. You saw Gannon in the first round. Was that a little extra motivation for you guys? Mm, I, I think so. I mean, just to talk about what Coach said, I mean, we just stuck to the game plan. Well, we walked through so much. I mean, like I said, we just stuck to the game. <laughs> we walked through so much. We knew pretty much everything they was going to do. We just had to go out there and execute it and talk on the defense and stuff like that. And came up, came up with the win. So. Tell you the same thing, just sitting around for however long you guys are sitting around for waiting for this game. You know, what were you guys thinking about? What was practice like? Well, well, for me personally, um, I haven't beat Gannon since I've been at the SWR. So that was. How do you feel about playing IEP again? And what kind of problems do they present to you? And what kind of problems do you present for them? Now they're a good team. Obviously, we split with them this year. Um, like we talked about Tony in the hallway before the Gannon game. game. I, I, I felt like it was like two years ago. Like I told you, we beat Winston-Salem and then we had Indiana. I felt like the same uh, going into the game. I felt like uh, we were going to have Indiana again. So we, we know all the things. We're going to look past Gannon. Trust me now. <laughs> at that, but obviously as a coach, you always have to look at the best uh, best and worst case scenarios, which we did. We watched, I, there's nobody hotter than IEP and Gannon in the region, shoot. Gannon was red hot, and obviously IEP, the, what they did in the conference turn, tournament uh, to a, a very good East Stroudsburg team, and then lost on a buzzer beater to Gannon, and then obviously today uh, dismantled uh, the Mountain East champion on a neutral floor by 20 points. We know how dangerous they are. We know uh, they have a lot of weapons. They're a senior-oriented team. Uh, they can shoot the three. They're as well coached as any team in the region. Um, so they're dangerous. But at the same time, we feel that uh, we have a pretty good team ourselves. We're going to get back, get rested.
try to decide if we're going to go to Logan's or Olive Garden, I think, here. Uh, grab a little something to eat with the guys. Uh, coaches, obviously, will start grinding out the game plan uh, for, for Indiana. And then uh, really, we've got to rest the guys because the game, uh, they had a lot easier time today than we did. Our game went from wire to wire, whereas their game was pretty much decided uh, five minutes or six minutes into the second half to their credit. I mean, Glendale's a we play Glenville. We know how good Glenville is. So for them to do that to a very well coached and very talented, I mean, Glenville, the Morales kid is as good as any player in, in the country, in my opinion. And uh, for, what, for them to do that to that caliber of a team, we know we have to have our A game again tomorrow to compete and try to get a win against Indiana. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.